So guys, I got a special request to do a fried chicken video. So I'm gonna do this fried chicken video and I'm gonna make it simple, delicious, and I'm gonna add a special ingredient. Check it out. These are the crispiest mustard fried chicken wings. So first things first, we're gonna prep our chicken. We are going to clean it, get all the feathers and gooky stuff off, and then we're going to wash it, and then we're gonna prep it for seasoning. Now I know people say don't wash the chicken and all of that stuff, but I still wash mine. So make sure you clean and sanitize your sink and your counter. Okay, so here's where you're gonna add your flavor. Accent, salt, black pepper, chicken seasoning or all purpose, paprika, yellow mustard, and that little pack of goodness right there, Sazon. Now my seasonings of choice, I like to keep my seasoning pretty simple and pretty light. The mustard adds a lot of flavor. You get a lot of the seasoning from the mustard. I love Creole and Cajun seasoning, but I add that after the chicken has been fried. Now pull out your best frying pan and fill it halfway with vegetable or canola oil and let it heat up. Now while the oil is heating up, we're gonna prep our flour. We're gonna add a little bit of cornstarch to it some white pepper, yes, white pepper, some ground black pepper, chicken or all-purpose seasoning. Now combine your seasonings into your flour. By now, your oil should be ready. So right here, I use a container with a lid to coat my chicken in my flour mixture. Be very careful when adding the chicken to the hot oil it will pop and it will splatter, so be careful. You also want to make sure that you are adding the chicken with a pair of tongs or a long handled fork. Be very careful, you don't want to use your fingers. Make sure that you don't crowd the chicken in the pan. You want the chicken to be nice and crispy. After about 10 minutes, you're gonna start flipping your chicken so that it can brown on the other side. And you see how beautiful and golden it is. Once both sides of the chicken are evenly brown, it's time to remove the chicken to drain. Now to drain your chicken, we can keep it old school and you can put it on some paper towel layers or you can get one of those cool metal bacon racks if that works for you. Either way, they'll both do the job. And we are done. Look at that fried chicken. Crispy, golden, delicious, and we did that. My work is done. Peace. Be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel at Shaken Bacon Blog.